Hey, this is Aaron. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some cobalt tech. Today we're going to talk about the upper receiver and the handguard. Uh, the first place that we went to in, in redesigning uh, was this section of the receiver. Uh, what you see in the current cobalt kinetics offerings, um, you'll notice that the handguard and the upper receiver are different than a traditional mil spec um, m4 style uh, traditionally forged upper and so you'll notice there are no threads on the outside right here um, first off we wanted to deslave the handguard and the barrel as in traditional receiver sets the handguard is attached to the exact same thing that holds the barrel on um, essentially slaving those together whatever happens to one will happen to the other by inverting those threads and extending out the receiver itself what we've been able to do is allow the handguard to act more like a monolithic upper without having the the drawbacks of of this being fully monolithic and so you can take this off you can see down there there's there's threads that go all the way down um, and if you if you're able to look inside there you can see that there's a a precision milled flat surface that the barrel will sit on that surface allows us to not need to lap that mating surface to get accuracy. So we don't have any thread engagement. We don't run the risk of thread run out. So the barrel is able to go in there, sit, sit flush, has a jam nut that goes all the way down. And then as you put the hand guard on, you'll notice there's uh, this timing feature right here. So if it goes on crooked, it's obviously not going to go. It keys up real nicely once it's there. Um, we've got eight screws, four sets of two. These are directionally locking. As that screws down, the handguard sucks back up into the upper, reaffirming the, the same position that we've keyed in on up here. This allows you to not lose zero if you're taking on and off. Um, it allows you to cross mount. Um, a nice feature and, and something that as we were able to design it, and this is something that, you know, you can't use another handguard with our upper. Um, and we're okay with that because one of the things it allows us to do is not have weird gaps uh, when it comes to the Picatinny so everything's even. You can cross mount optics up here. You can be assured that you're not going to lose zero out here. You can press on this all day long and it's not going to affect the barrel. Another feature that you'll see in our upper is with this port door or dust cover. Uh, traditionally, you're, this is going to be held in place by a C-clip. Um, those break, they're very cheap, they're, they're plentiful, and it might not seem like, like a big deal, but if you think having a, a dust cover is a big deal, then this, this piece is a nice added benefit. So with our, our upper and hand guard, your dust cover rod is actually gonna go inside of this slot here, and then if you can see here, there is a set screw. That set screw holds this in place where it's not going to back out at all, and then to hold it in up top as the hand guard goes over, and it's now locked in place by these. Um, it is actually trapping that set screw right there. Um, it's a small feature, but, it, but it's a definite value add when it comes to protecting your dust cover. For more information, go to our website, make sure to sign up for our newsletter and follow us on social. If you have any questions, feel free to email us.